Scott schedule is very popular with claims and the claims responses. Claims responses are very, very important topic. And uh, sometimes the responses are actually larger than the claim itself. An engineer or a reviewer can look at each effect you presented. He can prepare the responses and uh, reject your claims. He will make a counter argument. He will prepare a counter analysis. So if you are making a 200 pages of claim, the response can be 300 pages, you know, nothing is wrong with that. So you have to mention here the event number, event description, which activity is impacted, the cause, caused by engineers instruction or whatever this it is, you know, and this is the effect. So the effect of this variation order is repair work is expected to start on this date which is 10 days beyond the planned delay date. This is the effect of this cause against this activity. Contract reference, okay, for FedEx Red Book 1999, sub clause 1.9, my entitlement based on the, this contract clause, delayed drawings or instructions. This is actually very important because even in, in civil courts, when there is a case, Typically, you will have a base, you know, of article, which article in the law you are, you base, you know, your entitlement upon. Engineer the comments. What was the comments for this event? He will mention something like uh, a contractor submitted revised drawings 15 days after receiving the instruction. So why not three days? So this is engineer's comment to disqualify the impact. The contractor's response, he can say something like, there was an RFI, I had to submit it, I had to wait for the feedback. You justify why you took 15 days. So it's good to have this. It's a columnar presentation of evidence, codes and effect and responses. Very popular uh, Scott schedule.